dangerous increase in drivers who are not obeying Iowa law when it comes to local school buses. That's right. The new Hampton School District says that they have had a number of incidents this year alone where a driver is flying by while a bus is stopped. KWW reporter Taylor Vessel spoke with the district today. And Taylor, tell us more. Just how many are we talking at this point? Abby, the incidents so far this year are currently double what they had in all of last school year. Now, the district worries this sudden uptick in these first few weeks could lead to the unthinkable. Traffic is nonstop. In New Hampton, the Zion family lives just off Highway 63. Oh, uh, we were always real nervous. One day, Tony Zion's nerves turned into fear. Me and my son, Owen, and Zoe were waiting to get on the bus. So far this school year, five cars at the Zion stop haven't obeyed the bus's stop arm. If I wouldn't have been aware that day, we would have stepped out and there was a car that didn't even slow down. This year, I think we've had more so far this year than we had all entire last year. Last school year, New Hampton schools had six stop arm violations. Only a few weeks into this school year, they've had 11 total. All of them caught on the bus's cameras. Every time we, we have a drive by, we notify the authorities, we turn it in. We certainly want to get this taken care of. Superintendent Jay uh, Duran says he can't be sure why there's an increase, but fears distracted driving is to blame. And I think we're just not paying attention, and that's really unfortunate because it really is the safety of, of our students, but also the safety of the person in the vehicle. For the Zions, they've widened their driveway so the bus can pull in and Zoe doesn't have to cross the highway. Don't just assume cars are going to stop because if I would have assumed that one day, uh, it would have been bad. Now in Iowa, the penalties for a stop arm violation are steep. In 2012, the legislature unanimously passed Caden's Law in response to a seven-year-old girl who was struck and killed while trying to cross the road just to get on the bus. Taylor Vessel, New 7K, WWL. Taylor, thanks very much. And because of that law, a first offense of not stopping for a school bus carries a minimum fine of $250. You can also spend up to 30 days in jail and get a 30-day license suspension just on the first offense.